Hello bookworms! Today I am going to be doing a video that is quite an undertaking for me. So while I've had this time in quarantine, I have sincerely missed creating spreadsheets and stuff. So I obviously made more work for myself and I decided to create a spreadsheet of my entire physical TBR. And the way that I did it is what I initially did is I got up early and came into my library room and I took photos of every single one of my bookshelves and my TBR cart and everything. And then I went to my laptop in the other room because Andrew's been doing his work from home in our office library area and I've been working from my laptop uh, in a different room. Took photos of everything that I physically own and cataloged everything in a spreadsheet, but because I'm a mood reader, I thought it made the most sense to make different tabs in my spreadsheet. So I have a tab for each genre. That way, once I'm ready to pick a new book, instead of coming into my room and feeling overwhelmed by everything that I see here, I can very easily be like, I feel like reading a fantasy book or I feel like reading a thriller book or whatever and look at my spreadsheet and just see everything listed out without missing anything that I own in that genre. It's actually been really nice. Like I've been doing this for all of April now and I've been reading so much from my physical shelves and it's just like making me so happy. So the category that I have by far the most physical books to read in is adult fantasy. So I decided to make a video that is showing you every single adult fantasy book that I physically own and have not yet read. If you want to see this for more genres, let me know. Like I ha I do have quite a bit of YA fantasy. I've got a lot of contemporary romance, all those kinds of things, science fiction. All of those were broken down. So it could potentially be like a new series of videos, like how last year I did my series of series videos. This could be a series of physical TV videos if that's something that you would be interested in. But I'm gonna get started because I've got quite a bit to go through. I think that adult fantasy is the largest category for me because first of all it's the most appealing to me, second of all it takes me the longest to read, and third of all there are quite a bit of series in here so anything where I've like enjoyed the first book I've tended to pick up the rest of the series. I'm looking at you Wheel of Time. <laughs> but also another thing that I did with my spreadsheet actually before I get started is that on the top of each spreadsheet spreadsheet, I put like five highlighted slots and I look at my physical TBR and I pick out the five that I'm most excited to read and then I put those in that top five so that way if I'm like really struggling I can look at that and be like oh yeah I really do want to read these ones so then if nothing's hitting me I'll continue down and read through like the rest of the list but that way I have like a spot to look immediately and see if anything is like calling to me. As far as adult fantasy goes, I have 82 unread adult fantasy books on my physical TBR, which is wild. That is a lot of books. But like I said, I do feel like I've been doing a better job of reading what I own, which has made me really happy. Okay, so the way that I'm going to share this list with you is I'm going to show you my top five next reads, and then the rest of the list will be in alphabetical order, with the exception of Brandon Sanderson's installments in The Wheel of Time, because I just included those with Robert Jordan, because it's like the end of the series. But anyway, here we go. First, I have The Bloody Rose by Nicholas Eames. This is actually an April TBR book for me. I'm not really going to go into much depth on these, because we've got a lot to get through here. <laughs> next is Baptism of Fire by Andrew Sapkowski. This is the fifth book in the Witcher series. Then I've got The Dragon Reborn by Robert Jordan, which is the third book in the Wheel of Time series. Then I have Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. And finally, The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. So those are like my top five that I really want to read. And then the rest of the books will be in alphabetical order. In my top five, I also wanted to diversify the list because obviously Wheel of Time is a very big priority for me right now, but I didn't want all five slots to just be the next five Wheel of Time books. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the first three books are all by Joe Abercrombie and they are the first Law trilogy. So we have The Blade Itself, Before They Are Hanged, and The Last Argument of Kings. I realized that I said this would be in alphabetical order, but I don't think I specified that it's in alphabetical order by author last name. So now you know. <laughs> Next I have The Goblin Emperor by Katherine Addison. Then I have Magic Bites by Alona Andrews, and Burn For Me, also by Alona Andrews. Then I 
have Reborn Yesterday by Tessa Bailey. This one is kind of like arguably could be potentially put into romance instead of adult fantasy, but it's vampires, so I'm including it here for now, but I might, well, I mean, it'll get removed from my spreadsheet once I read it, which is hopefully actually gonna be within the next couple of days. Then I have Senlin Ascends and The Arm of the Sphinx, both by Josea Bancroft. These are the first two books in the Tower of Babel series. I think there's four in total. City of Stairs by Robert Jackson Bennett. Spellslinger by Sebastian de Castiel, though I've heard that this one might actually be classified as young adult, so I'm not quite sure. <laughs> the Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty. This is the second book in the Dave of Ad trilogy. A Nancy Boys by Neil Gaiman. This is actually one of the only Neil Gaiman novels that I haven't read. And Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. This one's more like a collection of stories, so that's why I said the other one's one of the only novels I haven't read. Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant, who is also known as Shauna McGuire. Guilty Pleasures by Laurel K. Hamilton. This was actually given to me for free at New York Comic Con this past year because I went to the Laurel K. Hamilton and Sarah J. Moss panel, but I'm not 100% sure that I really care about reading this one if I'm being honest, I might unhaul this. It's in the other room, but Dead Until Dark by Charlene Harris. This is the final book in the Suki Stackhouse series, and I refuse to read it. I've read all of the other ones, and I love them, but I don't like how the series ends, and I won't read this one ever. It's just part of my collection sitting pretty on my shelf. Lost Boy by Christina Henry, which is a Peter Pan retelling. Then I have the Farseer trilogy by Robin Hobb, which includes Assassin's Apprentice, Royal Assassin, and Assassin's Quest. Next, we're moving into The Wheel of Time, which actually broke my bookshelf, so that was a fun day. <laughs> but I already mentioned book three in my top five I want to read next, but then we have book four, The Shadow Rising, book five, The Fires of Heaven, book six, Lord of Chaos, book seven, a Crown of Swords, book eight, The Path of Daggers, book nine, Winter's Heart, which is actually one of my favorite covers in the series, book 10, Crossroads of Twilight, book 11, Knife of Dreams, and then as I said, I'm just going to include the Brandon Sanderson ones here too so I can keep the full series together. So book 12, The Gathering Storm, book 13, Towers of Midnight, book 14, A Memory of Light, and I almost forgot to include it, but New Spring, which is the prequel novel to the Wheel of Time series. Next, I've got God's Grave and Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff, though to be honest I'm kind of questioning my interest in the series since I haven't ever picked up the second one and it's been quite a while since I read the first book. Then I have Steel Crow Saga by Paul Kruger, The Poppy War by R.F. Quang, Jade City by Fonda Lee, but I do have this one on ebook so this is another one where I'm considering unhauling my physical copy. Then I have books two and three in the Gentleman Bastard series by Scott Lynch, which are Red Seas Under Red Skies and The Republic of Thieves. Then I have quite a bit of Juliette Morellier books. So first I have the Blackthorn and Grimm trilogy, which includes Dreamer's Pool, Tower of Thorns, and Den of Wolves. Then I have Heart's Blood, Daughter of the Forest, and Wildwood Dancing, all also by Juliette Merlier. Rosemary and Rue by Sean and McGuire. This is the first book in the October Day series, and I'm really hoping I like this so that I can just continue and read the rest of them. Dark Fever by Karen Marie Moaning. Then I have a bunch of Terry Pratchett books in the Discworld series. Sorcery, The Light Fantastic, The Color of Magic, Mort, Equal Rights, Word Sisters, and Witches Abroad. Then we've got our next biggest category after Wheel of Time, and that is Brandon Sanderson. So first we have half of The Way of Kings because I have read half of this so far and I'm planning on reading the rest of it really soon. As well as Words of Radiance and Oathbringer and all three of these are the first three installments in the Stormlight Archive series, which I think everyone knows, but. Then I have Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson and Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. Both are Cosmere books. Elantris is a standalone. Warbreaker is currently a standalone, but he's working on a second book or has said that there will be. I don't know that he's actively working on it. Arcanum Unbound, which is the collection of short stories within the Cosmere universe. Then I have The Ally of Law, Shadows of Self, and The Bands of Mourning, which are all the first three books in the second era of Mistborn. Then I have the last three books in the Witcher series, which are Tower of Swallows, The Lady of the Lake, this is actually the official last book in the series, and Season of Storms, which is the prequel, but I'm reading in publication order, so I'm not going to read this one until I finish the main series. Then I have Summers at Castle Auburn by Shannon Shin. Then I have the Ruria Revelation series by Michael J. Sullivan. These are, this is actually six books, 
but they were all published as bind ups. So we have Theft of Swords, which is the first two books, Rise of Empire, which is the next two books, and Heir of Navarin, which is the last two books. The Silver in the Wood by Emily Tesh, which I'm hoping to read very soon. I'm gonna move that onto my TBR card actually. <laughs> the Starlit Wood, which is a collection of different fairy tales by a whole bunch of different authors, but one of the stories in here, which is what I was most interested in, is Naomi Novik's story, which was a Rumpelstiltskin story, and that inspired her full novel, Spinning Silver, but this one is a shorter story and it has a different ending than the novel. Then I have The Dragonlance Chronicles by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. So the first book is Dragons of the Autumn Twilight, then we have Dragons of Winter Night, and finally Dragons of Spring Morning. And then the final book on my physical adult TBR is Snow and Rose by Patricia C. Reed. I'm done. <laughs> I'm a little dizzy from getting up and down so much during this video. That's fine. We made it to the end. So let me know if you want to see this for other genres. As I said, adult fantasy is by far the bulk of my physical TBR. The rest of the categories are definitely on the lower end, even to the point where I would maybe combine some of those genres just so it wasn't like a two minute video. I felt like this was a fun experiment making my spreadsheet. I feel like I learned more about myself as a reader from making that spreadsheet because I really got to see like what I I buy the most of, what I'm the most interested in, the kinds of things that I pick up right away. Like I have a lot less contemporary on my TBR. I think I tend to read those like as soon as I get them because I know that they're going to be quick reads. And then also I only have one horror book on my TBR. I was like, what? <laughs> so that was interesting and I'm tempted to read that just so I have a zero horror TBR. But anyway, let me know if you want to see the other genres that I have on my physical TBR. That's all that I have for this video and I will see you guys soon in a new one. Bye!